The idea of a consensual, non-monogamous relationship is traditionally a taboo topic. It certainly is with Gail. Yeah. Now, yes. now a new CBSN Originals documenta documentary is exploring exactly what that looks like. Consensual non-monogamy is considered any relationship arrangement in which the partners openly agree to have more than one sexual or romantic relationship. Research shows one in five single adults have tried consensual non-monogamy at some point. Brooklyn couple Alex and Bridget are in an open marriage. They live together, but both date other people. Alex discusses what it is like when his wife has a date planned at home with someone else. He calls it getting sexiled. Sexiling is when you look at the calendar, like, oh, tomorrow uh, so-and-so is coming over and Bridget is hosting, that means that I need to find something to do. I'll either work late or go see a movie or hang out with a friend or go to the bar. We've been together for eight years now and at least the way I feel is there's so much unspoken like certainty between us. And this, I give credit to Alex. Alex is one of the most loyal people I've ever met. Like more than I could ever even hope to be. Alex is so loyal. Like if we do skip a date night or if he see somebody like three nights a week and we haven't had dinner together yet like i know this sounds maybe crazy to some people but it really doesn't bother me because i i just know at the end of the day that alex isn't going anywhere i have not told my mom i haven't told my stepfather and i haven't told my stepmother so really uh all my friends know you know non-family members know but in terms of family i'm still taking my time on that before this airs i'm gonna tell them all I guess that I just want them to know that I love them all very much. And it's just very um, it's scary for me to tell them how I really am. Because the last thing I want is for them to reject me. That feels, um, well, I think they, they probably know now. Adam Yamaguchi is the executive producer of CBSN Originals and joins us to discuss the new documentary. Adam, good morning. No, you guys are just bursting with I know. Or, or Adam, no. I couldn't even say good morning, but I go, Adam, you have to explain this to me because I don't understand and I don't like it. What are, it's Adam, what are some I, of the biggest misconceptions? Yes. About this? Well, I think one of the biggest misconceptions is that people assume that this is just about one big orgy. And, and, and the reality is uh, the people that we talk to say, look, this is far more than just about sex or just about casual sex. These are people who are actually committed. They've agreed that they will have multiple partners. And in some cases, we, in, in this doc, we met a quad. That's four people, two couples that are raising a set of children together. Together. But, you know, See, having a, a, a relationship is about depending on that person for, for things that you need. So I think of Alex there who's sexiled on certain nights. Well, what if that's the night that he really needs to have a conversation with his significant other about what's going on in his life? And they just give that up, I guess. Right. They get, well, they, I think they would also tell you that, well, that's partially why I have somebody else to go to. Um, he has a girlfriend. She has a boyfriend. So if he is sexiled, well, he, he now has somebody. You know, this is the thing. I think whatever consenting adults want to do should be between consenting adults. I get that. But I think about the family structure, and I think about the children, and I just think those things should matter. So how do they navigate that? Yeah, what a, message does this send to your children? Sure. I mean, it's a tricky thing that um, that many of these couples and, and quads and triads uh, grapple with. In fact, the, the quad that's raising the children together acknowledge that this is strange. Yeah. This is very strange to tell their kids that mm -hmm. they are involved in a quad. Yeah. Um, the way they sort of look at it is, well, now you have four parental figures who can be instrumental in, in yeah. shaping you and molding you into adulthood. All right, that's looking at the positive. A lot of husbands and wives looking at each yeah. other on the couch right now. Shalom, shalom, shalom. All praises to the Most High. Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, which is to say in the Paleo Hebrew, Yahweh, the name of the Heavenly Father, meaning He is Bahashem, meaning in the name Yahweh Shai, meaning He is our salvation to the so called blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans here in the Western Hemisphere. And to the rest that scattered abroad to, abroad to the four corners of the earth that look like the other nations, but through the patrilineal lineage, go back to the Hebrew Israelites. And this is a follow-up to the video I did earlier because I used a clip from the TV show House Swap and it had a block partially on it, so I had to clip that out and find another clip. But this is the clip. If they let, you know, stand up, I'm going to use. 
And you see the clip that I use on this video is similar to, you know, the house swapping clip. Although you couldn't see it on the video I did before, you can type in house swapping TV show and you can see yourself. Because what that TV series did, it set up the movement for what is now known as, you know, ENM, ethical non-monogamy relationships, or in this case, they call con consensual non-monogamy relationships, meaning that you can have more than one partner, which is going off, you know? If you are a man and you're, you know, married to a woman, and then that woman going, you know, have relations with relationships with another man who's married, you know, that's a uh, that's committed sin. So these things that they are promoting is strictly for confusion and to continue to keep you in sin so that you don't have that hedge when things break out, you know, when all hell breaks loose, you know, you're going to be caught in sin. And like in the other video, the wages of sin is death. So, you know, this is the time that you need to repent and be sober and be vigilant because those times are going to come when all hell is going to break loose. And because of your sin and you're sinning willfully and knowingly, you're going to be punished. So this is Jeremiah 10 and 1. It says, Hear ye the word which Yahweh speak unto you, O house of Israel. Because you see this movement that they are promoting they promote it amongst the heathens, but Israel, the so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans are picking up and taking out there and having these open marriages where they are sharing each other's spouses, which is going off. Now, a man can have multiple women or multiple wives, but that woman who he has as a wife cannot be married or engaged with any other man. If that woman is single and not being with any other man, then she could be part of that man's, you know, marriage. But if that woman is married, she can't go and join another man's marriage because that's going off. That's sin. And like I said in the other video, I did a video addressing this. And are you living a polyamorous lifestyle? Go look that up if you want to go farther into it. So this is Jeremiah 10 and 1. It says, Hear ye the word which Yahweh speaketh unto you, O house of Israel. Thus saith Yahweh, learn not the way of the heathen. Okay? So we're not supposed to learn the way of the heathens, man, and their customs. Because once we pick up on their ways and their customs, we become, you know, we become engulfed and we become like them. Okay? So it says, Thus saith Yahweh, learn not the way of the heathen, and be not dismayed at the signs of heaven, for the heathen are dismayed at them. Okay, so we're not supposed to be trying to be all, you know, deep into, you know, different types of uh, zodiac signs and uh, astronomy and all this stuff, because those are what the heathens, <clears throat> those are what the heathens do, you know? And this goes on saying how they worship, you know, uh, signs of the heavens and uh, what else cut up down a Christmas tree but the main fact that I'm trying to get to you is learn out the way of the heathen and this thing that they are promoting which is swapping of the spouses or this new thing is uh, ethical non-monogamy relationship is that of the heathen because it's not promoted by Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai you know it's straight confusion now you got such thing as a quad, a quad couple or tri a tri couple where you have four couples, two couples, three couples, and then amongst them they share each other wives, and then those wives get pregnant by other men's in this uh, marriage. You know that's straight confusion, man. Okay, let everything be done decently in order, and this is not done decently in order. It's done out of chaos okay so learn out the way of these heathens man because their ways are going to get you caught up in their judgment that's coming here to babylon the great because america is indeed babylon and this place in this place will fall pursuant to uh revelations 
I believe 14 and 8. Babylon, Bab Babylon the Great is fallen, is fallen. Okay, this place will fall. And it will and it will fall by the way of thermonuclear missiles. And if you caught up in it and you tied to it, you're going to get the same judgment and plagues that come to this city, this place, which is Babylon the Great. Okay? So learn not the way of the heathens. And if you have been learning the way of the heathens, repent while you still have time and turn back. Okay? So being in an open marriage, you know, swiping spouses is, you know, complete and utter confusion, chaos. Okay, so I'm not going to make this long because this is a follow-up to the video I did before because I had to cut out the clip that I used for the uh, swapping of the spouses because it was, they said, you know, copyright or whatever. So I found something else and I'm going to use this and see if they allow this to be uh, uploaded. So I'm going to go ahead and close out of 1 Peter 5 and verse 8. And it says, be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary, the devil, as a roaring lion, walketh about seeking whom he may devour. And like I said in the previous video, he wants you to be, he wants you to continue to walk, you know, not just walk, but staggering because you so, you know, blown by his philosophies and you drunk of his wine. OK, so learn not the way of the heathen. Don't drink his wine, his philosophies, you know. Don't buy into his propaganda because that's what he wants. He wants to fool you. He wants to confuse you and have you sin and have you believe through his propaganda, through his TV shows that it's OK to swipe, uh, swipe your wives, your spouses with other men. OK, it's straight confusion. Babel. This is Babylon. A mixture of all type of cultures and not just that, of all different types of philosophies as well. So that's why you have to be sober. That's why you have to be vigilant, because if not, you can easily be swayed and tossed to and fro. OK. So be sober and be vigilant because your adversary, the devil, as a roaring lion, walk of about seeking whom he may devour. And he looking to confuse as many people as he possibly can before his downfall. So if he can get you to sin by, you know, uh, agreeing upon these different relationships, then he's going to throw them at you in all type of ways. Because remember, like I said in the video before, his reward is if you do wicked things, he rewards you. Speaking of the disobedient child, which is Esau Edom, the so-called white man. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and close out with that. And hopefully somebody was able to, you know, get something from this. And if it be the Lord's will, until the next time, stay strong, stay in the faith. We're almost home. Shalom.